Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I will give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakad Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Starting with the 144,000, which should be the ruling governing body in the kingdom of heaven, which the 144,000 will consist of all men, no women included in that. Um, you have the rest of the elect, which are in America, which will be considered the one third. And you have some of the elect that are scattered abroad as well. They're not considered the one third, but um, they are the elect scattered abroad. And then you have our people that will be destroyed in America that will be considered two thirds. Uh, but that's for America. And then the rest of the rebels or the people that are the people of our nation that won't can be converted. They'll be the wicked, you know, on the on the uh, scattered abroad, but they won't be considered two thirds in other countries. Um, I also want to say the Israelites are who you call today so called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalans, the Panamanians, those that are Israelites always have been and always will be, contrary to the popular belief that we are not Israelites. This is your brother Yaramya from Make Edge Show, another video from End Time Headlines. As y'all can see, it says, uh, there's a sign that has uh, Trump's name on it, Donald Trump. That says, shots fired at Trump National Golf Club with former president on site. So, you know, my first thought was, oh, well, hey, that civil war is coming, man. You know, everything is falling in place, man. And, you know, there's no turning back, man. There's been no turning back for a long time. But, you know, it's the second second so-called attempt, man, you know, on this man, you know. But that chaos it has to happen, man. All hell has to break loose. You know, turmoil has to, you know, hey, conspire, man. You know, because I, I believe the first assassination attempt was two months ago. Now it was in July. I remember when it happened. I was, you know, out of town and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, it's the second one. This happened today, you know. Uh, but, you know, it's really the Lord in control, man. The, the scriptures tell you. Um, that's what we got to remember in these latter days, man, when things happen. We got to understand why it's happening and who's causing it. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is causing these things to happen, right? Um, we get Amos chapter... Salakia, Amos chapter 3. And verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? <coughs> Should there be any evil, any evil in the city? The Lord have not done it right. So wherever place city this is in, it's evil that you know so called ha happened. The Lord was in control of it, man. You know the Lord is using the, the wicked, you know the Edomites, to stir up chaos and turmoil and you know, all these different things so that that can happen. But prophecy has to be fulfilled, right? The Lord wants this division, man. He he came to send division. That's what people don't understand, man. They keep saying that. Guys, all love. He loves everybody. He knows your heart, man. He does know your heart. He knows pe these people are wicked, and they that they're not really, they're not really what they say they are. You know, so you yeah, you're right, but it's not in the way that you think it is. This is uh, Luke twelve and fifty one, and it reads. It says, "Suppose ye that I come come to get peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division." You see that? So. That's the question, you know, a rhetorical question. Really, if you, you know, this truth, we know the answer, man. Yes, the Lord came to give division, man. Those words were written in red. So the Messiah, who the world knows is that J, J word, you know, he wrote those words, man. That was his words out of his own mouth. You know, our Lord, Yahweh you know, said that. You know, that's what he's coming to do. You know, and this earth was given to him as the wicked pursuing the Job 9 and 24. Why would he not have that happen? You know, this place got to be destroyed, you know, in order for the kingdom of heaven to be set up. And the people that are ruling this kingdom, they're, they're not righteous, man. None of these people in this country are righteous except the elect, you know, of Israel. You know, you can only be an Israelite to be righteous, really. You know, you can't just be a, any type of person or from any nation, man. The Lord's only dealing with the Israelites, but amongst the Israelites, he's dealing with the elect. He ain't even, he ain't even dealing with all of our people because all of our people, are, they don't. They don't support, you know, their Messiah. They don't, you know, follow the ways, you know, that he set up for us. But does this man be think, man, nothing but chaos and turmoil is coming. I mean, like I said earlier, man, you can't turn it back, man. You know, it's written <clears throat> and it must happen. You know, let me get this in uh, 
Second address, let me get 15. In verse 14, <coughs> so like you, it says, Woe to the world and them that the world they're in, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. And they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So, you know, like I said, you know, nothing but chaos is going to take place. And, and it's going to happen. You know, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be probably more events leading up to the so-called election, man. You know, we can't forget that, that time we're living in. You know, the so-called election is on, is in November, you know, and a lot of these Edomite whistleblowers or so-called truthers, they have came out and said there's going to be different things happening leading up to that election. And they, their people have said that there might not be one. People are saying that, they, that there is one. That they're going to they're gonna put Trump in there. Some people say Kamala's going to be in there. It don't matter, man. The the end goal, the end goal and the end uh target is for chaos to happen. And that's what these Edomites really want, you know, the elites. So the Lord is using them, he's he's using them to, to cause these different events to happen. You know? It ain't for people's good, it ain't for their benefit, you know. Uh the Lord is setting up this man's chest pieces and putting them in place so you know Jacob's trouble can pop off, man. You know, but it says, um, verse 17, it says, a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. So you want to go somewhere and you realize they got checkpoints, they got armored tanks, they got armored uh, men, you know, blocking off the area. Or they might block off the bridges and stuff like that, getting from one state to another, or one city to another. You know, all this is going to happen, right? And it's, it's going to be because of what? Verse 18, it says, for because of their pride, the city should be troubled. And the house should be destroyed and men should be afraid, right? You know? And lately, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, you know, Issacharites, you know. I took a picture earlier. I ain't going to go to it. But, you know, you had a lot of Issacharites wearing, uh, you know, their, they, they had their flags and their trucks and their cars. There was a whole lot of them, you know. And I actually I, I actually seen a uh, just one truck that had a Guatemalan flag on it. Which, like I said, that's that division, man. You know, you got a lot of them coming over here. Esau don't like that, man. You know, they don't like that, <laughs> you know. Esau, you know, the Lord set up the, the a playbook through Esau. And, you know, a lot of our people that are not in this truth, Northern Kingdom, which are you Hispanics, you know, and you uh, so-called blacks, a lot of y'all coming over here to be, you know, putting that coffin, man. You know, I, there's no nice way to say that, man. If you don't repent, which two-thirds is a way bigger number, man. And I believe this man is probably going to be used in a lot of those scenarios in the times to come when it comes to the FEMA camps, when it comes to public ex executions, you know, different forms of, you know, death. I believe the Lord's going to use this man, but you know, I'm speaking as a man, you know, I don't know for sure, but, you know, you a lot of this, the him getting shot at and all that, that's definitely, you know, raising some eyebrows and it's definitely causing tension, you know, with these Edomites, man. They know their country is falling, man, <laughs> you know. The scriptures tell you, man, 2 Ezra 6 and 9, man, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So let me get that, 2 Ezra 6 and 9. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, or Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. You see, so this man, you know, as much bad things that are happening in this country, it's all the will of the Lord. You know, and your power structure is failing. You know, if your power structure was, you know, still at the top, you know, as it once was, it would, this stuff wouldn't be happening. The fact that you have to bring in a new money system and a new way of living in the first place, that means that what you did in the first place didn't even work. It, it wasn't successful, you know. But whatever the Lord has the devil do, it's going to fail. You know, that, that MOTB is coming with. That's another topic for another video. But, you know, the point is, is that chaos, you know, turmoil is going to happen. Man. And, you know, the times that we're living in, we're going to need... The Lord, you know, we ain't going to be able to get out of these, you know, different battles to come by ourselves, man. You know, we're going to really need how about Shemel Shah these times that we're coming in. You know, um, I want to get this in uh, Mark 3 and uh, 25, I believe. It says, verse 24, it says, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. You see that? And that's this place in America, man. You know? This place is divided from every angle. You know? 
You got, they just had that debate the other day too, man. You know, a lot of this is folly and a lot of it is just, it just shows you how low mentally these people are, man. And that just what they, what their mind state really is set on, you know, it's not set on the, the good for the people, man. You know, these elites, if you saw them, they got different plans for you people, man. Y'all be about to find that out, especially you jakes, man. You jakes that don't want to repent. Y'all going to be caught up in a lot of these different psyops and these different events that's going to come. You know? Don't expect just this just to affect Esau and the other nations, man. No, no, it's going to, it's going to, it's called Jacob trouble for a reason. You know, a lot of the, a lot of this madness that's about to happen, a lot, two thirds of them, he was going to be caught up in these things and they're going to be heavily involved in it. You know, voting and, you know, get mad at somebody saying this about this president or that president. You know, but the elect, we're not, they're not going to be concerned with these things, man. We're not going to have our damn head up their ass, man, like that. We go, we're just going to watch and pay attention to prophecy and sound that alarm. You know, that's, who, that's what I'm doing in this video. You know, war is coming, man. You know, that's what that's what's, uh, what's getting ready to happen, man. War is in the land, right? You know, let me see. I believe this scripture I'm thinking of is in Jeremiah. Jeremiah, I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, let me see, Salakia, uh, nope. I put the wrong word. Uh, so this is uh, Jeremiah 50 verse 22. It says, a sign of battle is in the land and of great destruction. Man, that's, that's all you've been seeing, man. You know, especially here as of late. You know, just... How much, how bad things are, and just war, chaos, people hating each other, people not liking each other. That's 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 all you see on the TV, you know. And, it, and it's going, you know, eventually manifest physically, you know. Not manifest like for the wording, but you know, y'all know what I mean. You know, it's gonna play out in, in real time, you know. And everybody's gonna witness it. Everybody's gonna see it, you know. So this ain't. The the second time, this ain't the first time. This is the second time this so called happened. But I believe these are these events are set up. They're staged on purpose so that can so it can you know pop off. But it's all the will of the Lord at the end of the day, man. You know it's the Lord's will and his his will is gonna be done. You know whether they declare martial law or won't be an election and you know whatever happens after that happens. You know we are gonna see it, man. But we just gotta stay vigilant. You know. Um. We got to stay watching, you know, because the time is near, man. And I didn't want this video to be too long. So I just ha hopped on it real quick and did a quick little video. You know, so I hope this video was edifying to the elect, to the Lord's sheep. Um, until next time, um, I want to say shalom. I want to say wada, blah, 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 shalom.